Hey, what's up guys, Tommy14 here, and welcome to F1 2014 Jensen Button Formula 1 Let's Play. If you're not familiar with the series, basically I go from F1 2010 to F1 2015 and try and recreate some of Jensen Button's best races in each of those years. So 2010, I did the battle with Lewis Hamilton at Turkey. Uh, 2011, I did the Canadian Grand Prix and the battle at Turkey again with Hamilton. 2012, I tried to replicate his pole position and race win at Spa Frankshop. And then 2013, I tried to replicate his fourth or fifth place finish that he got at the Brazilian Grand Prix. And now we come on to 2014, where we're going to be trying to recreate, or actually trying to improve on Jensen Button's position at the Silverstone Grand Prix, which he got fourth place and was so close to get in a podium that year. Of course, Jensen Button's never been on the podium at the British Grand Prix, so that is exactly what we're going to be trying to do in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we are guys, for the British Grand Prix, and look at that, a lovely British summer's day, because of course this is how it always is in Britain, but here we are climbing into our McLaren Mercedes of course still in the 2014 season, only recently have they moved to Honda, what a, uh, what a terrible mistake that was for 2015, let's see about the future however, so where are we going to line up, ah, oh, we've lined up 12th, on the grid, really? And we're going to try and get third in this... Oh, God. So let's have a look at... Uh, I was going to say the setup, but, uh, you know, let's not bother with the setup. So, let's head out on track. Hopefully, we can try and replicate Jensen Button. Not replicate. Let's head out on track, see if we can get a podium for Jensen Button here at the British Grand Prix. Let's go. So here we are lined up on the grid for the British Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton pole position in front of the British fans. Our teammate Kevin Magnussen got himself in 8th place and we're down in 12th. So here we go. Lining up on the grid now. We've got Raikkonen right in front of us. we got Perez in 10th place. We get 5 red lights now. And away we go. That was an incredibly long wait. I haven't played this game in so long. So please do bear with me. But if we do find ourselves catapulted into the back of anyone, we're okay at the minute. We're ahead of our teammate, Kevin Magnussen, who's of course going to be... Oh! Cheeky move up the inside. Of course, Lewis Hamilton. Oh! Sebastian Vettel up the inside of Rosberg. We're going to try and take advantage of that as well. Come on! The podium's right there! Go on, let's push him off track slightly. Oh, come on! McLaren Mercedes versus Mercedes Mercedes. And we got him. Yes. That is P3. That's our objective. If we can try and hold this now, that will be amazing. Come on. Let's hold this fantastic position for Jensen Button. I can't believe he hasn't had a podium yet at the British Grand Prix. He was so close, I think, in 2011, where his front... Oh, my God, I do apologise. No! Don't slow us down. Shite! Oh, God. Okay, now we got to catch up to a Mercedes again. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, this is bad. No, no, no. This isn't good. No, no. This isn't what we want. Who's... Okay, Bottas. He's... I doubt 
Oh, we've shifted down again. I doubt boss is going to be too much of an issue for us. But... Oh my god, he's, the, Rosberg's getting away. We've we may have messed up this podium chance, lads. Oh, oh, come on! Come on! Yes, we forced him off slightly. We did no contact there at all. Absolutely zero contact with Nico Rosberg. He just drove off on his own accord. And we are back into third place. Of course, Vettel and Hamilton have just bombed it now. Look at that. Jesus. I think it was in uh, 2011 where Button's front right tyre uh, actually wasn't correctly put on in the pit stop and he came out of the pits and the, t the tire, c tire came off so yeah that was that was so disappointing as a British fan obviously of Jensen Button to see that happen as it turns out we have absolutely zero pace on this game absolutely zero. Oh my god quarter cut for days I'm sorry, it slowed us down though, so that's okay. But, I can't believe as well, also, how just how much worse the graphics look on this game, even compared to 2013 and 2010. I mean, just unbelievable. I was said in the F1 2012 video, I feel like that was the best. For, oh my god! Jesus. I felt that was the best for like how Codemasters games looked. I just thought it was a really nice blend. But this game, at least on the 360, did, just did not look good compared to uh, compared to F1 2012 or 2013. This is probably my worst game, I have to say, of the Codemasters games. I thought I didn't like 2011, but actually, thinking back like now from these videos, I actually prefer tw how 2011 was to how this is. So, oh my god. Oh! Someone's off. Hamilton's retired. Oh, so that's us up to P2. Thank you so much, Lewis Hamilton. We've got one more spot to lose. And we're still in a podium position. That is fantastic. Oh my god, Boss and Rosberg. Oh god, Rosberg. Oh! Rosberg's going to be out for a vengeance, isn't he? He's going to want to try and get that podium spot back. That was shit. Oh, bollocks. I don't want to run out of fuel like in the 2012 video. Come on. I think we got this. We just need to survive. Two more laps. Oh, my God. I really did not... Like, the sensitivity on the controller is just non-existent. On the wheel, I reckon it'd be alright, but as I say, I haven't got my Fanatec wheel. Actually, I've got F1 2014 on the PC. Interesting. I could, uh, I could have done... Oh, my Lord! But I feel as these are just Let's Plays and, you know, whatever. I'd just stick with the controller, but... Boss and Rosberg are always so close to us with this DRS zone. So we're definitely going to have to watch out for that. But, thankfully, we've got a Mercedes engine, not a Honda engine, so... Oh god, oh god. So we're able to hold our own down the uh, down the straight there. I still can't believe that cracker lacking move we pulled off on Rosberg in this sector. Oh my god. Oh, it's just dirty. A 137 1. Vettel pulled away by about a second that lap, I think. For some reason, the Red Bull is really, really fast on this game. Because, I mean, I'm not holding... I'm only holding... No, oh, my bad. I'm only holding Rosberg and Bottas up, but that's not even through every corner. It's like... The odd corner here and there. So, Vettel's just had some... OP update done to him. But it was like on 2013 as well when I played that, actually. The Mercedes were ridiculously faster than... Everyone else. It was ridiculous. Of course, the Mercedes wasn't as good in 2013 as it was 2014 2015 so I don't know whether before each new game come out Codemasters sort of update the old one with sort of each driver has been the performance of that year I don't know it's really weird and that was a terrible corner cut I do apologize maybe it's my gear shifts as well on this that isn't helping but oh my god that sensitivity through these high-speed corners boss is right up our ass with that Arrgh! My God, we're going to lose this podium, aren't we? On the last lap, we're going to lose it. 
I think I'm going to go defensive just in case. Let's see, he's just going to come. Luckily, we're just able to break late enough. Oh my god. I don't think we need to go defensive. AI aren't that aggressive on this game. So, coming through the final few quarters now. And look at that trade, but it doesn't matter. We've got second place. We've got Jensen Button, his first podium at the British Grand Prix. Fantastic. Get in there, JB. Get in there. Oh, my lord. Oh, just that fastest lap. Just compared to anyone. I mean, literally almost anyone except the back markers. We were. We were. We were slower than Maldonado. No, we weren't. What am I chatting? No, we were faster than Maldonado by eight tenths. Never mind. We were pretty damn slow. We probably didn't deserve the podium, but we just about managed to get it. Thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did please leave a like, also subscribe for more F1 content on the channel, but uh, yeah, join us next time for F1 2015, take care.